Hello, I'm Jerry Goodspeed. I'm here at the Ogden Botanical Garden, and it's uh, about the middle of March. And one of the questions we get asked a lot is, how do I transplant a plant, or when do I do it? Uh, sometimes what happens is, uh, you've planted the plant in the wrong place, uh, it's gotten bigger than you think it's going to get. Any number of things can come up, and you want to move the plant, or you yourself move, and you want to bring it with you. Well, this can be done as long as the plant's relatively small. We like to say only in the ground about two or three years, and then you can go ahead and go move it. The best time to move those plants is when they're dormant. And this can be done in the fall after all the leaves have dropped off, or in the spring. And we like to do it here in the spring before they leaf out. Here we've got a yellow twig or gold twig dogwood that we're going to move. It's come up in the wrong place, or it is in the wrong place rather, and we want to transplant it from here to another part of the garden. We love the yellow twigs on it. It looks very nice. It's very attractive in the winter. Also has some good color in the fall and in the spring. So we're going to move this plant. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to have to cut some of the roots. But it's dormant, so it's not going to get too mad at us. Maybe a little bit. And what I like to do is go around the plant and get about as big of a root ball as I possibly can as I'm cutting the roots and slowly move it out of the ground. So you can see here that I'm just trying to cut the roots, sever the roots, dig down as far as I can and slowly start to pry this plant out of the ground. And the good thing about this particular plant is it's pretty hardy. So it'll do that pretty well. See, we're slowly getting it out of the ground and we're going to leave some of the soil on it. All right, I think we've got all the roots for the most part. I'm going to keep it right on my shovel. I'm going to make sure we've got them all cut. We don't. And this will happen. I'm going to come over here, cut that last little root. Ah, there we go. Now we've got the plant. We've got it out. We've tried to keep. Still have a root down here that doesn't want to break away. So we're going to make one more cut. There we go. Now we're just going to try to move that as best we can, keep a little bit of the soil. I'm not real concerned because it's dormant. So it's not growing right now. We've got enough of the root where it should be able to establish in the new hole that we plan to place it in. Okay, so we've dug the plant. It's a little bit precarious. Uh, it hasn't got a lot of soil on it, but it'll be okay. As I say, it's dormant. We already dug the hole. We had that dug first, and that's kind of important, especially if you only have one shovel, which we have more than. But we dug the hole, and we don't want to put it any deeper than it originally was. We want it at that same exact level. So we'll just slip it carefully into the hole. And normally what I like to do is throw a little bit of this soil back in even before I remove the shovel. You'll notice that we don't have any fertilizer. There might be a little bit of organic matter that you can work into the soil that we're putting back around it. So we'll start putting that soil around it. I'll carefully pull that shovel out. Throw the rest of the soil in and around it. Pack it down. Again, make sure that that crown is no deeper than what it originally was. That's really important. A lot of people have a tendency to plant plants too deep, and that's a sure way to kill them. In fact, that's a really good way to kill them, if you really want to know. Okay, we're going to keep that crown the same. We can see the root flare, because there's some roots coming out there. We're going to create a little area where eventually we'll be watering it. Smooth that out. Pack it down really good. Now, that plant should take off here in about a week or two. starts to warm up. Those buds should start to swell and grow and it'll establish itself really good. Again, this can be done in the fall and the spring. I prefer early in the spring before they come out of dormancy. So one of the reasons is if you do it in the fall, they do have a tendency sometimes to heave out of the ground. In the spring, they'll get some good moisture, they'll establish. I don't prune them at this point. I let them be. If I need to prune them later, I'll come back. Any wood that died out in the middle of summer, at that point, I will prune it out, but not now. I will just let it be, see how well it establishes on its own.